Hi, this is Bree Mitchell from Countdown to New Me, your source for motivation, empowerment, and change. Today, I want to speak to you, ladies, about speaking to your mountains. And I'm not talking about the mountains that you see when you're driving, when you're on vacation. You know, you go to the mountains, you ski, or uh, you hike the mountains, etc. Now, you know those are not the kind of mountains I'm talking about today. I am talking about those mountains in your life that are weighing you down like a sack of bricks around your neck. These mountains could be anything uh, from debt, your finances, um, your weight, your health, relationships with your friends and family, uh, a spirit of lack instead of a spirit of abundance. Again, fears, anxieties, those are the kind of mountains that we are going to be talking about today, okay? So, you know, everybody has mountains, right? I definitely have have had and do have my fair share of mountains. Mountains for me uh, would include uh, certain relationships that I am involved in right now with family and friends and also uh, finances. I mean, who wouldn't want to uh, increase and multiply and work on their finances and make sure they have everything in order when it comes to that. I know that I certainly do. So for me, that is a big mountain. Now, as women, as ladies, okay, most of us, I'm sure, when it comes to praying, okay, when it comes to praying, we cannot be beat, right? We're in church on Sunday, or whatever day you choose to go, or if we watch on the TV, we know how to raise our hands and praise the Lord. We know how to pray, 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 pray in the morning, pray at night, pray before you eat, right? Pray before you drive, pray before you fly, pray before you swim, pray before. We pray for ev any and everything. We got a prayer for it, right? Any and everything. We know how to pray. We have faith, we believe, etc. But, but... Okay, the thing that I know that we probably can improve upon is, okay, after we've prayed and we've asked God, Lord, please bless my finances, Lord, please, uh, I don't know, ensure my, 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 my mother's health or her operation goes well or whatever the case may be. After we've prayed it, prayed it, prayed it, prayed it, okay, and we, we're believing that God's going to come through for us and he's going to fight, you know, the angels and God are going to fight this battle, Okay, at some point, I mean, God has given you authority to speak to that mountain. Okay, this, again, mountain, this big, possibly scary, uh, built-up obstacle you have in your life. God has already given you authority to talk to that mountain and tell it, that it has to get lost. It has to go. There isn't, there's not that much praying in the world. Okay, so after you pray, you sit and wait. It's not how it works, to my understanding. We need to be like, uh, like David and Goliath. David spoke to his mountain. He said, you gonna, you gonna get yours today. That's pretty much what happened, right? He shot him with the, um, with the rock. So we need to be speaking to our mountains. And instead of speaking to our mountains, a lot of the time, what we do, maybe not you, okay, but I know that I do, or I used to do this more so than I do now. I've cor corrected it to a certain extent. Instead of praying and speaking to your mountains, etc., what are we saying? We're basically complaining, complaining, complaining. We're bitter. We're angry. We have no drive, no positive spirit. Um, we're bitching and moaning and oh, someone will say, hey, hey Bree, how's your Monday morning going? Oh, it's all right. You know, girl, I got some bills I was not expecting the other day. I don't know how I'm going to pay these bills. I'm stuck at this job. I'm not making enough money. Um, then I got hit with an IRS tax lien. I don't know how I'm going to take care of that. My car notes do. And they want so much out of me from this job. And I'm not getting paid how much I am worth. And yada, yada, yada. 
you will go on and on for like 10 minutes and the person only asks you, hey, how's it going? How's your month? How's your uh, Monday, mo Monday morning going? But you've gone off into this whole long tangent when instead what you should be doing is saying, oh, it's great, so and so, I'm blessed, how are you? And keep it pushing. And when you, throughout the day, start being attacked by those obstacles because you know they will stay on your mind and keep playing over and over and over and you'll start worrying and just feeling that anxiety, right, in the pit of your stomach. So, excuse me. What you need to be doing is saying, in Jesus' name, debt you have got to go in Jesus name negative attitude negative spirit you need to get lost you need to be speaking to those mountains because there are there is power in your words and I'll tell you my eye is itching I apologize I'll tell you that when you do start to speak to your mountains am I saying it's gonna happen tomorrow that uh, Magically, you you know, you win the lottery and uh, you'll drop 50 pounds, etc. Of course not. Let's be realistic. But behind the scenes, God is definitely going to be moving things into position for you. Um, so you'll notice increased favor. People will start doing things for you that you never expected. Situations will open up that you never even dreamed were possible. Okay? So... I guess what I want to leave you with is whenever you feel that that need to, to complain about your circumstance, whenever you feel that need to dwell in that, that negative place, and again, this is something that I'm working on, okay, this, but I feel like I can speak to you about this situation because again I'm working on it this is something I have dealt with and I'm still dealing with but what I want you to do is instead of complaining about it you speak to it and you tell it how it's gonna be okay you are blessed your finances are in order your health is fabulous your relationships are improving they're beautiful. Okay? Do not give Satan another opportunity to use your words against you. So, my challenge for you tonight, or hopefully I've encouraged you to think about the words that you don't say. Usually it's the words that you do say, but this time it's the words that you are not saying. Let's focus on that a little bit more. Focus on speaking to your obstacles, speaking to your mountains. And if I can help in any way, um, if you'd like to speak with me directly, you are definitely free to message me anytime. You can reach me on Facebook at uh, Countdown to New Me. Or again, you can visit my website, which is uh, www.countdowntonewme.com. I'll leave you with that message. Please check out my website for additional information and motivation. It's updated on a very regular basis. God bless you. God keep you. Stay encouraged. You got this, okay? Have a good night. Thank you.